city choked with custom fell deeds. And Caesar's spirit ranging for revenge, with Ate by his side, come hot from hell, shall in these confines with a monarch's voice cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war! Remember, March? The Ides of March, remember? Brutus hath writhed my heart! I do not like your fault! Come, revenge yourselves alone on Cassius. All this, I more fret to your proud heart break. Go show your slaves how choleric you are, and make your bondmen tremble. If Caesar lived, he durst not thus have moved me. No, peace, peace, you durst not so have tempted him. I durst not. No. What durst not tempt him? No. For your life, you durst not. Do not presume too much upon my love. I may do that, I shall be sorry for. You have done that you should be sorry for! There is no terror, Cassius, in your threats by any indirection. I did send to you for gold to pay my legions, which you denied me. Was that done like Cassius? I denied you. You not. did. I did not. He was but a fool that brought my answer back. Strike. Sheath your dagger. Be angry when you will. It shall have scope. Hath Cassius lived to be but mirth and laughter for his Brutus? When I said that, I was ill-tempered too. Give me your hand. And my heart. me doth appear in this. You have condemned and noted Lucius Pella for taking bribes here of the Sardians, wherein my letters praying on his side because I knew the man was slighted off. You wronged yourself to write in such a case. In such a time as this it is not meet that every nice offense should bear his comment. Let me tell you Cassius, you yourself are much condemned to have an itching palm to sell and mark your offices for gold to undeservers. I an itching palm. You know that you are Brutus that speaks this. Or by the gods, this speech were else your last. The name of Cassius honors this corruption, and chastisement doth therefore hide its head. Chastisement! Remember, March? The Ides of March, remember? Did not great Julius bleed for justice sake? What villain touched his body that did stab, and not for justice? What shall one of us, that struck the foremost man of all this world, but for supporting robbers, shall we now contaminate our fingers with base bribes, and sell the mighty space of our large honors, for so much trash as can be grasped thus? I had rather be a dog, and bay the moon than such a Roman, Brutus! Bay not me, I'll not endure it. You forget yourself to hedge me in. I am a soldier, I, elder in practice, abler than thyself to make conditions. Go to, you are not, Cassius. I am. I say you are not. Hurt me no more, I may forget myself. Have mind upon your health. Tempt me no further. Away, slight man. Is this possible? Hear me, for I will speak. Must I give way and room to your rash collar? Must I be frightened when a madman stares? Oh, gods, gods, must I endure all this? All this? I more fret to your proud hard break. Go show your slaves how choleric you are and make your bondmen tremble. Must I budge? Must I observe you? Must I stand and crouch under your testy humor by the gods? You shall digest the venom of your spleen though it do split you. For from this day forth, I'll use you for my mirth, ye for my laughter when you are waspish. Has it come to this? You say you are a better soldier. Let it appear so, and make your vaunting true. And it shall please me well for mine own part. I shall be glad to learn of noble men. You 
wronged me, Brutus. You wronged me every way. I said an elder soldier, not better. Did I say better? If you did, I care not! When Caesar lived, he durst not thus have moved me. Oh, peace, peace, you durst not so have tempted him. I durst not. No! What durst not tempt him? Oh, for your life, you durst not. Do not presume too much upon my love. I may do that, I shall be sorry for. You have done that you should be sorry for! There is no terror, Cassius, in your threats. For I am armed so strong in honesty that they pass by me as the idle wind, which I respect not. I did send to you for certain sums of gold which you denied me, for I can raise no money by vile means. By heaven, I had rather coin my heart and drop my blood for drachmas than to wring from the hard hands of peasants their vile trash. By any indirection, I did send to you for gold to pay my legions. But you denied me! Was that done by Cassius? Should I have answered Caius Cassius so? When Marcus Brutus grows so covetous, to lock such rascal counters from his friends? Oh, be ready, gods, with all your thunderbolts, and dash him to pieces! I denied you! You not. did! I did not! He was but a fool that brought my answer back! Brutus hath writhed my heart. A friend should bear his friend's infirmities, and Brutus makes mine greater than they are. I did not, till you practiced them on me. You love me not. I do not like your faults. Friendly eye could never see such faults. A flatterers would not, though they do appear as huge as high Olympus. Oh, come, Antony, young Octavius, come. Revenge yourselves alone on Cassius, for Cassius is a weary of this world, hated by the one he loves, braved by his brother. Checked like a bondman, all his faults observed, cast into a notebook, coined, learned by rote, to cast into my teeth. Oh, I could weep my spirit from mine eyes. Here is my dagger. And here my naked breast. Within, a heart, dearer than Pluto's mine, richer than gold. If thou beest a Roman, take it forth. I that denied thee gold, will give my heart. Strike, as thou did at Caesar. For I know when thou didst hate him worst, thou lovest him better. Than ever thou lovest Cassius. Sheath your dagger. Be angry when you will. It shall have scope. Do what you will. Dishonor shall be humor. Cassius. You are yoked with a lamb that carries anger as a flint bears fire. Who much enforced shows a hasty spark and straight is cold again. Hath Cassius lived to be but mirth and laughter for his Brutus when grief and blood ill-tempered vexeth him? When I said that, I was ill-tempered, too. Do you 
You confess so much? Yes. Give me your hand. 